Welcome Welcome back to another episode of Talk That Talk. Yes, sir. (laughs) It's a special day. Yeah, it it is is. a very phenomenal special day, man. We got a special guest today. You want to go ahead and introduce her or you want me to do that? You can. I mean, it doesn't matter. All right, so we have our very first um, uh, female guest that's not one of our girlfriends. And this is (laughs) all three of us here, so it's a special day. Uh, We have Miss Melina Cohans in the building. Everybody clap it up. Woo! Yeah. Yo, it. so we just gonna jump right into it. Okay. <laughs> um, so you're you do TikTok, right? Yes. Um, where you come from? Like, tell us a little bit about yourself and like. Wow. Wait, wait. Before you get into that, can you just drop all your <laughs> social medias real quick on Instagram and? I heard TikTok. you got like eight. Well, right now I would say like my main TikTok is like Melina Cohen's with two S's, and then I have Banded Mel. And that's where I do like most of my promos and collabs stuff right. like that. That's smart. And then I have Faded Mel, and that's just like me, like high as fuck. So <laughs> I get like most of my like weed promos and stuff like that on there. So like right. I'm like very picky with like my accounts and stuff, and like I'll pick my promos like I don't know to it, I guess. Right. But then I'm from like Montana, Tucson, and Vegas, and now here. Fire. So you have different accounts for different promos. So how does that work? So it's like, okay, so for your weed smoking account, it's like she don't, you get you can't you, get no promo on that, huh? No, I can't. Oh, you get weed yeah. promo. The, and then they'll ask me if I want to do like a YouTube video or something else. Okay, fire. So you okay. do YouTube too? Mm-hmm. Oh, word. What is you just said they did? I said I did, but like they're older videos. Oh, okay. is the weed? How old? Like, like a month, two months. Ago. Oh, that's not old. That's not old. <laughs> <laughs> that's lame. Is the uh, is the weed promo like? Is it pretty good pay, or is it more so of like, yo, we're gonna send you an ounce, or we're gonna send you an eighth for? Yeah, how do you do that? They ship it Sometimes, the like, I'll pick. I'm like, do I want the money or do I want the weed? But now I've been kind of like stingy, and it's like just like pay what I want basically and then I'll like do it if I choose basically right. so it's like they gotta right. come with a bag and they gotta come with a pack yeah because like I started to hear about other people and I was like what like you don't have to do that or like yeah. I like a lot of people tell me I'm like too nice I'll just do whatever so when did you start like actually getting to the point in social media or most of your deals are through TikTok when did you get to the point where you're like okay I'm starting to charge all for this promo like I don't want just exchange for product like i don't want promo in in exchange for product like i actually want money and when when they actually started paying i feel like because i was working at the time too like i worked in a daycare and stuff like that and i feel like once my like daycare check was being beat up by like my social media check i was like why am i working like 90 80 hours like Mm -hmm. all day long when i can like get paid this for like 15 seconds or something like that (laughs) when did you when did you start social media I did like musically and stuff like that. Like I just did the lip sync and I would do like makeup videos and then I like that stopped was like that. when though. Mm. Musically was like, like right when it started. Musically was like five years ago. Oh, that's where yeah. you yeah. popping on there. Or yeah, that's and I like met a lot of people and then like that's where my followers started to come and then like I just had loyal people and then I met like so a bunch like of a new people. Cult following, like the ones yes. that's like no matter and they where ride you go. For you, yes. That's oh. where our little sister started too. She started on musically. It was hella <laughs> funny because and I swear they ride for you way more yeah. too. She used to do the little. Uh, she was popping though. She had like over like four hundred k. Like as like a how old was she? Five years. Fucking. She was like fourteen. Facts. Wait, hold on. So this is like five years ago. Yeah, this was and like another TikTok. And you're 19. Mm-hmm. So you started this thing when you were like 14. Yes. Damn. That's crazy. So you being popping on social, well, you being popping on social media, was it hard to like go to school? Do you feel like you yes, got a lot of hate? Yes, in school it was bad. And like I would get like a lot of fake accounts and like I'd have to go through the police one time. Be- Sorry. You <laughs> it was so bad because oh like with the cops and stuff, like. Um, people were just like showing my information and then they like took my mom's information and stuff like that yeah, like yeah. it just got so serious that people like really were Too like personal. yes like really um, what's the word invested I don't know like <laughs> fuck yeah. like they were so involved with like acting like me that they got like too deep into it that Mm -hmm. they like thought like they were my mom and like me and they would create lies and stuff like that that it would get out there to my teachers and stuff like that so did you graduate high school or did you no no was it (laughs) (laughs) was did you not graduate because social media started popping off or was well we got like kicked out of my house at like a very rough time and like my parents started divorcing so it's either like school or like 
find an apartment and like get stable and like see where that kind of takes you basically yeah and i chose that over like school because i was already like helping with like bills and like my dad and i were struggling and then like with the social media and stuff we ended up like very differently like when we moved here and that was like a big change too your your first promo was at what age Mm, probably like 13 and, and it was from contacts and i still work with them okay, like now that? how did it like feel like tdi or something like that how did it feel getting your first promo knowing it that felt so good you? and it was like 152 but i was like oh my god i like ran upstairs to my dad i like screenshotted it i was like look at this i was like they just sent it to me i was like right. no way and after that it just started kicking in yes and i was like dad i was like i just remember sitting at the table and be like 500 and then they'd be like yes and i'd be like oh my god like what? i'd be like no way like this is crazy or like i'd see a video and a girl would be like ask for this and i'm like no way like you ask that and so like, you just start to. if you don't mind me asking i would i mean i'd probably answer this myself but what wh- what has been to this day what has been like your biggest deal to where you were like i really got paid that I feel like you don't with, have to say from who or what. Well, with this one brand, like every month, like I started out with like four thousand, and every month, like it's just like a band more and a more, and like I've worked with them right. since I probably for like two months now, so like it just goes up and from there, and that was crazy. And I'd like show my mom, and like she has to control like the PayPal account because like how they're like that and stuff, and it would be crazy for her to just send me the money, and she like shows her friend like, oh my god, look, I'm like yeah. my daughter just got sent this, so but it's nice. You know what's crazy though. When you said PayPal, I fucking hate PayPal. I hate PayPal too. PayPal because have you ever had the shit where like, okay, you sell you sell goods or whatever through PayPal and they in they request okay, but they request for a refund. I used to be big scammer on Listen, that. no yeah. more, but I used to. They request for a refund. PayPal will easily refund them and they'll put your account delinquent negative mm-hmm. and you no i swear not nah, it's crazy it's and then bad they lock your account right at paypal i still get mail to my mom's crib from PayPal. yeah I, I haven't had i haven't had paypal since i was like 18 19 i don't got paypal i don't got cash i don't got venmo Band on everything. <laughs> so i want to kind of i want to touch you know, on you know. i want to touch on uh because i feel like i don't know do your does your fan base know a lot about your upbringing and kind of like like you just touched on you said like you had a rough past we're not gonna skip over that i feel like some of them do but like a lot of people just see now because that's what they follow like right now and like i don't even like try to argue or say like what's going on because now i feel like people look at you just like i don't know they just like suck the life out of you it's like tell me everything tell me this what do i do with my life like tell me like you're just like I don't know they just suck you so it's very scary to like because you don't know who you're sharing to you don't know if you're sharing to like a supporter or a hater like you yeah. don't know who's listening you gotta be careful on social media so um we just talked about that on the podcast on our last podcast what did we say when it comes down to friends were you guys just talking about that yeah i'm sorry no you good um <laughs> tell me if i'm asked i don't know what question you just asked i'm sorry it I was, was just about it was just about how her <laughs> upbringing and like you know is the people do her fan base know about how she came up and like what went on in her okay so when it came to you we were literally on our last podcast we were just talking about friends and not knowing their intentions and stuff so it'd be cool to like hear your opinion on it how did you have to like in the let's say your first couple years like your closest friends did you ever leave like did you ever lose any close friends or in if you don't mind like sharing why or i feel like i've lost a lot of people and i've only kept like one girl but we fell out at some point because like she was in a group already but she had like her own or she had like the other people's opinion on me already and once we fell out like she kind of was like oh like you are genuine like that was just like their opinion and i feel like a lot of times now it's harder to see like if a person is genuine or if they're just there for like the light because like girls will literally hit me up and they'll be like let's hang out and then like as i'm on the way to their house they're like hey can we make a tiktok and it's like what you just hit me up to smoke like what the fuck do you mean because like i don't care to post anything at all like i only post like the promo are you the type that don't post like no like i we could be friends friends. for three years and no one will know we're friends because like i don't care about that like as long as we're like laughing and stuff i don't feel like you need to be posted that's almost a smarter way i feel like to do it too because then it's like they stick around you know like you're not just trying to get on my tiktok or my social media i feel like it's hard as an influencer too we like he said we were just talking about that like depict 
which friends are real and which ones are just mm-hmm. around you for what comes with it. What would, would you would you know what you provide for them? Because yeah. I say we was talking about it's like whether it's um, you know the people around you whether they envy you or they're inspired by you. Like you know I don't ever kick it with Cook or Jordan and say yo bro when I get there let's make this video or let's do this. <laughs> it's more of just like it's genuine and if we hang out we hang out on some cool shit. Right. But it's like that's more of the 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 relationship i feel like that you should be having with your friends and it's like if it's your choice to make a video hey yeah let's make this video or it pops up when you guys are hanging out or whatever it is i feel like it's cool to do so but it's like i feel like if people are just using you for the cloud that you got uh i don't i don't really like i don't really like that because i feel like sometimes people take advantage of what you have in the network that you have and they feel like they can gain things to you know towards and they can blow up like we've seen in past you know ex relationships whether it's with you you know for example you know (laughs) so you know (laughs) but you know we've seen it all the time but uh yeah no i i we really wanted to see what was the thing with with uh you know the relationships that you have even though like your your boyfriend you have you have a boyfriend right (laughs) yes Yes. okay how long y'all been together like a year and like six months, something like that. Okay, and he lives in AZ? Mm-hmm. How come he didn't pull up to the podcast? Well, he wanted to. But nah, he should have pulled up. He's, He's like, we he, just talked about this. <laughs> he low-key could have been on the podcast. Yeah, yeah he should have pulled been up. Dope. No, it's been cool to have that, Yeah. Yes, yeah, have no, y'all, yeah, go ahead. No, no you go, man. Have y'all been, so how's y'all, how's y'all relationship like? How do you? How would you describe? Because I know certain people. When it comes down to like, <clears throat> I got a boyfriend. It could be like, yo, we locked in, or we f- we're tight. Like we're we're not messing with anybody else, but at the same time, we we be having our ah uh, ah. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> not like ah no, uh, like as in you be having your side pieces, but like, oh, like, uh, oops. like yeah, your little your little um, you know, you have hiccups in the road. Like, have you have? I don't want to get too much into your relationship, but how is your guys' relationship? What would you describe it as? And, like, how is it? Obviously, you moved to Arizona. You told us with him. How is that? Like, I feel like at first it was very, like, good and everything. But I feel like social media, like, as, like, because when I first met him, it was, like, I was just, like, lower and everything. And he was up here. And then, like, it was, like, oh, we get the same things. And I feel like just social media just takes, like, such a toll that it can kind of be, like, oh, well, you got this and, like, money. in a way. It's, like, it shouldn't be like that. But it definitely can feel like that at times. And so I feel like you just... I don't know. So More like just a, has a bad toll on it. You More guys like a, competition rather than like collaboration type. Yeah, it's like you do that at some point, but it's like if you only if like you have to be the face in it so much, it's like okay, well it needs to be like us, not just like get her in it. Or Wait, like so he does social media too? Yeah, like we both do it. Yeah. Did you guys meet like through social media? Kind of like through social media, like he DM me and everything, and then I like flew the love to story yeah, Good old LA, DM, boy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Good old so slide in. how did he slide in? He was just like, I, I think it's so funny because I posted a TikTok like, oh, if you ask for like your number versus like DM or Snapchat, like you're better or something like that. Yeah. So like he was like, what's your number? And yeah. I was like, oh my god, like you're corny. Like what are you doing? <laughs> and it's so funny because like I dodged him for the longest time, and then. I was just like, all right, like you're you're trying a lot. So right. I guess what I was like, the what was the all right? You know what? I'm gonna give this dude a chance. Once I flew out there, flew out wait to where? L. A. Uh, so you flew she out said for he him? flew her out to L. A. No, he, I flew. Oh wait, out you there. flew yourself you, out to L. A. Okay, okay. You flew he out to L. A. for him, or you flew out to L. A. for a job, and he was just there. I flew out to meet girls, but then like I also was like gonna meet him. You had like, him like, so yeah. you was already texting him. Yeah. So what? The, so I'm asking is like when you were texting him. What made you continue on with the text and like what, what? What was that one thing about him? Well, yeah, what? Because you don't just fly out to anybody, you know what I'm saying? You don't just meet with anybody in a different state. I feel like because I never Facetimed him for like four months or anything, because I was like so nervous and mm-hmm. I guess I like he didn't think he was a catfish. You no, know, he did. He literally oh, asked well. me that, and I was like, that is so rude. Like, why would you even say that to me? He's like, well, you're like being weird. Like, you won't even talk to me or anything. I'm like, personally, well, I'm, I'm nervous. Not texting for four months without seeing your face. <laughs> did y'all get on the phone? <laughs> No. <laughs> oh, damn, so it was just texting for four months. I hate FaceTime, yes. I hate Not like even a phone that. call. No. No, I love FaceTiming with my girl. Like, 
when we were in our talking stages. Well, like once you're dating and stuff. Nah, like fuck that. that. <laughs> when, we're, <laughs> when we were talking, when we were in our talking stages, like I think it was like a few days after, I was like, I want to see her face. Like, yeah. so I Facetime her and I would Facetime her hella, like to the point like she would get annoyed. But it was also like I was applying that pressure, so it was like. Right. well like he would call my phone all the time and he like still talks about it I, like i would just watch it ring and like oh, i'd be like stop calling me like i'm not answering see i'm not that person like i can't like i i'm i'm the dude that answers every single call not like some random ass calls but like when it comes down to like people that i know i answer every yeah I can't once look you at know a... them but i didn't like know him i never met okay him. i feel that I feel that's that. crazy so i want to ask this question because i feel like i've heard i've been in a situation too or situations where I regretted, like, even though I was locked in with that person, take that back because it didn't work out, obviously, <laughs> for a reason. But I'm saying there were situations where if I was, like, in a relationship or I would be getting in a relationship, I would automatically put them, like, into my social media and we would start making videos and shit because it's like, all right, we're going to go viral. Like, let's do it. And I, I just want to just show off my person. Do you feel like, because I know you were saying that your guys' relationship, social media has taken a toll on it. Do you feel like if you could go back and just really just lock in with him and not put it on social media, would you do that? I feel like I would have like hung out more just like us and then figured out like us more and then put the social media out there. And then like instead of just being like a couple instantly on social media, because then it was like the like edits and like the tags and everyone and then like it was a bunch of like he obviously knew a bunch of people in LA before me so like my like first impression I guess meeting everyone was just like Jay and Mel like it was never just like Mel or like but now it is that so it's like very different. Jay you Mel? Jay and Mel. Oh Jay and Mel. Because his name's Jaden yes. Oh Jaden fire Mm -hmm. and he got he got the little neck tag Mm -hmm. right I saw that. He and he's the only relationship that you ever been in? No, I've been in a relationship before that. And that was on, like, Musical.ly and stuff like that. And that was, like, popular for a little bit. And I only had, like, a few months to be, like, single in between that. And then I got in the relationship with Jaden. So what do you... Do you guys think there's, like, uh, actual... I guess, like, not... not I, would, I wouldn't even necessarily say rule. But do you guys have, like, f- now... I mean, you're obviously in a relationship now. But... <laughs> When do you start bringing your significant other or like so the person that you're actually fucking with like to social media? Like what? Six what's months. your rule? Said six, months. six months. Um, just depends. Just bro. you're different. I feel like that like yeah, first night we meet. I wouldn't even say <laughs> like a, I wouldn't even say it's like you're not sure about them. Like with me, I I didn't bring Raylene around. We got together in May, and I didn't I didn't show her on social media really until like November, and like right when I showed her on social media, we started our YouTube channel. But it wasn't that I wasn't sure about her; it was just because like I just wanted to get to know her and her to get to know me without everybody else's opinion out. So because it does get to people, like no matter how much anybody wants to say. But I I think uh, with me, it's kind of different because you guys create content. And it's easier for you guys to create content with um, a significant other. With me, I don't have to create content like that, you know. And I feel like you we don't be, have to include your. I don't. I don't have it's to. Not really so like, if I do create content like that, then I'm opening up the floodgates for people to come into my business and people judging me for this or doing this to this. I would rather keep my relationship off of social media rather than keep it in social media because you guys understand all y'all are in relationships. And all y'all get shit for just doing certain things in y'all relationships. Bro, it's crazy. Right? Like, you get... I swear, like, as an influencer, it's like... You could do... Like, you could say something or do something that, like, somebody that's not... That doesn't have buzz on social media would do or say. And they would just be like, oh, <laughs> like, it is what it is. But you do something like that, it's like, oh, they fucked up. Like, they did something wrong. Like, I think I've had a lot of stuff... Cause I'm just me. Like I just say stuff. I do stuff how I want to, and that has kind of like taken a toll. Like you almost have to like filter yourself. It's now I wouldn't like I've never really let it like take a toll on me. Or you also have never really been like in some like because got bashed, bro. You gotta move right, bro. <laughs> well, you've only been in one relationship on social media. though. Yeah, and I've managed and to stay out of drama. And your relationship is good. Yeah, so good. it's like you got that you know, clean. You got that. You have a clean, baby. 
clean mm-hmm. baby face image. You know what I'm saying? Like, girl, I feel like good. when it's bad, people like eat it up. Like they'll eat it up when you're good, but like when you're bad, it's like, oh yeah, like I knew this was gonna happen, but like yeah. they were the ones like rooting for you the most. Like yes, make this, do this. Like right. she's perfect, he's perfect, but like when it's your downfall, they're like yes, like I already knew that. Like I hope like yeah, they switch up on you quick. Do you feel like okay? So have I'm um, throw it out there? Have you been cheated on by the boyfriend you're with now? No, that I don't know. No. No, Have you been cheated know. on in general? <laughs> yes. Okay. I've been like very insecure of it. Mm. I be tripping. <laughs> like you be in, like like jealous types. So do Kinda you? Kind of jealous, but like anxious more so. Just like I never know. Yeah, you is, really don't. I be like I'll believe you, but I don't believe you. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, is yeah, cheating no. <laughs> is, is cheating the same for a woman as it is for a man? I feel like cheating's like emotional and physical. Like, okay, but. Like yes, yes. Boy. Okay. Yes. So it is. All right. And I'm not I'm not saying otherwise. I was just <laughs> asking. Okay. So, yeah. If if why do you feel like why do you feel like when a guy cheats, why do you feel like they beg in your situation, your old situation when you had you had gotten cheated on, did he beg for you to stay? Yes, and I feel like it's because like they go with the girl for the moment because they like the girl is everything that you're not for that second. So like they get that and then they come back to you and they're like, oh, my God, like you get me all my shit. Like I love everything about you. But like in the moment, you're crazy, you're psycho and like all right, that. Sense. And that's that's the crazy thing for me is like I've seen it happen a lot. It's, you know, people give up relationships, whether it's one year, two years, three years. It could be as long as it could be crazy in a but, matter of like yeah and just for you. a one night just for a fucking 15 minute round type shit and it's like you're giving up everything you're giving up everything that you created with this person for one night and why do you think it's why why do you think people do that i can answer that i feel like honestly in reality what i've learned is um I feel like as a as a human being, if you've never experienced, um, how you say, you have to know what you have. Like you have to have experienced terrible relationships or toxic people in your life to even, um, how you say, even appreciate what you have when you do get it. So mm-hmm. like, for example, before I got with my girl, I kind of like, I didn't. I didn't understand the importance of like, oh shit, like if I do this, it's like my whole relationship's done. It was kind of like I'm trying to be sneaky. But with her, it's like I understand how how much I appreciate like her. Like you and respect how much, her more yeah, so. Yeah. How much different she is than other people that I've experienced to where I wouldn't even do that. Because it's like, why am I going to sit here and waste what I got going on for a for a 15 minute I wouldn't say everyone has to experience some shit like that though hell no I don't think you gotta like do it I've never been in a relationship and like I've never even had the thought of like cheating on Raylene or like I definitely like I just I don't know I look at relationships a lot different than a lot of people too though like I've I've never there's a lot of certain there's like certain shit that like it's not even considered cheating but there's certain shit that I wouldn't even like like I, I think about what, how she's gonna react before I do certain shit, just because I'm like, okay, I appreciate what, how her feelings are towards this shit. No matter if it's like right or wrong, no matter if I'm in the right, I still will be like, nah, like I, I just can't, but I can't. I just feel like you respect her so much that you like always think about her feelings first, like, mm-hmm. like, <coughs> like compared to cheating, like you're like, I don't give a fuck what they think. Like yeah. I feel good in this moment. She makes me feel good in this moment. Like I'm gonna do it. You, and you don't care at all. Like you don't have no like sympathy or anything towards right. them. No matter you don't what, care you how they feel. There's some shiesty ass. If you cheat on somebody, I swear I would never like. That's why I got like, it's cheated so on. so grimy. Cool. That's your loss. Cause there's no way you like you ever respected me if you cheat on me. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Hell nah. Like everything you said did. Yeah. No. And the one thing I respect <laughs> yeah, about no. you, bro, <laughs> is you were telling me before this podcast that you ain't drank in two years. And it's like, <clears throat> you feel like that. And I know even if you do get drunk, but sometimes when people get drunk, and I'm not vouching for nothing, right? When people get <laughs> drunk, right, they start thinking different and it starts raising different emotions and people, you know, oh, what if I just do this? Is this considered cheating? When in reality, you're not functioning correctly, bro. And, you know, I can see as to why you didn't do anything or even 
you know, I'm not trying to say, oh, it's because you haven't gotten drunk before, but I'm saying like a lot of the times people cheat because they're drunk. Like they had it. But drink. you really yeah, think alcohol yeah. is gonna do that? Bro, I okay. Oh, I'm not saying it's gonna do it. No, now to what you. I would no, say. No, I'm just saying like is like that like a good enough excuse for real? No, I feel like alcohol is definitely like, not, it's an not an excuse. excuse at it's all. not an excuse. It's not excuse. Like no. Alcohol, alcohol definitely makes people more blunt. And I, I, I honestly like truthfully believe that the truth comes out when uh, someone's drunk. It does. Because a lot of people say like I need to be drunk to tell you, or I need to be drunk to do this. Like no, you don't. Like just tell me what the fuck's yeah. up. Like I don't know. I've experienced some stuff like. Where I've been like, oh yeah, that was your true feelings when you was drunk. But then I've also like, when you're blacked out, it's kind of not saying I like I've never fucked up bad enough to be like, damn, like that wasn't really me. But at the same time, I've seen people do stuff where I'm like, now you know what's crazy though, is someone will black out, right? They do some stupid shit. What is stupid shit? Cheat, whatever. Okay. They do some stupid shit. <laughs> Three, four months down the road, they black out again. But a month ago, they were just laughing about the last situation that happened. They get, in their, they get themselves into another situation to where they black out again, do some stupid shit. Can't keep blaming it on the alcohol. You can't keep, like, when, when, some, when everyone starts to drink, you can get the one, two shots in you. Everyone, no matter what anybody says, everyone knows their fucking limit. And when you, when you push it, when you push it, it's and you just to keep... Limit. When them shots coming in, what? <laughs> but, bro, I... Yeah, bro. When you it know, comes down to alcohol, you, bro, you, I got shit to say, bro. I don't you, fuck with alcohol at all. When you down on the shits, man, you be like, think, 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 right? It's like five deep. You're like, I don't even feel shit. You start think, 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 another three. Then you're like, boom, all of them start hitting you at the same time, and you're like, okay, what the fuck? Do y'all just... do y'all realistically think you take five shots and you're not going to feel shit? Like, sometimes I mean, it's just the yeah. mindset. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. if you're, if like, honestly, when I'm out, uh, I can't even say that. I was gonna say when I'm out, like when we're at the club and stuff. He said I'm not even. Recently, that. I've been slowing myself down. Like when I start seeing my, I get to a limit. I have a limit when I'm out. But when I, if I'm at the crib, I don't think I really have a limit. Cause like, what's the worst that can happen? <laughs> now you know. We're at the crib. Like, so let's let's just say like, when like a recovered addict, like they know they know how to relate to like certain. Call me an addict. No. I'm saying like a recovered a recovered drug a recovered addict, addict. <laughs> a recovered drug addict like why you think they run the run the circle meetings with like addicts that are trying to recover like or go, trying to go into rehab because they can relate to what the fuck they're going through like when it comes down to like alcohol even I know I'm I know I say I'm two years sober but like when I say I'm two years sober like before that I've never black like I've never gotten to the point where like i black the fuck out people are dragging me out like telling me yo we gotta go we gotta go like <laughs> nick you see me drunk hey Justice, nah, you he see me drunk. no was... but i don't black first off i don't black out what was the last time you drank last time i drank was on my 21st birthday Ooh. and i'm about to be 23 on friday and you blacked out i didn't black out on you were kicking cones in the parking lot bro <laughs> nigga I, I did not black out though bro so if i just... blacked out i'd be that was the night you got shot. Yeah. Bro, if I was blacked out, I wouldn't have got out of the car to stand out in the cold in front of the hospital. I would have been not, I would have been <laughs> like, no, nah, I didn't black out. Like I know, I know what the fuck, like I know my limit when I was drinking. Um, bro, I've, I've only been drunk on the count of one hand. So like, I can't be like, oh bro, I know exactly what you guys are talking about. Like, So yeah. what do you, um? so you do TikTok obviously and that's like, what all of us know about you but is there anything that do you have like um do you work to are you working towards any type of business or anything outside of tiktok mm -hmm. well i last right now so i've been doing that since like i moved to phoenix and then you like that or? yes i've met like a lot of people but i've also had like a bunch of crazy stuff like i did right. it in my house at first for like the few months and this girl literally came in like just like me like i had girls at the time like book their appointment like a month in advance and everything and she had blonde hair and i like sh looked through my people and people and everything and i'm like what the hell like who is this like yeah. i checked the ipad make sure like it's the girl and like i see her tattoo she's like in the exact outfit that i just posted my youtube video in. like it was literally like 16 hours ago like she really right. watched that shit and i literally said like go get it at target but like yeah. i didn't mean like today like right now and like she pulled up, <laughs> like she pulled up to my house and everything, and I just like Wait, she opened drew the, door. the she drew the tattoos on. 
No, uh. she got them 17 hours before her appointment. Wait, 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 she got your tattoos. All of them. No, all what tattoos them. you got? Well, like all these and stuff, but all like, butterflies. but <laughs> like I have words like up here. And wait, stuff. she got the same shits. Exactly, like uh, the whoa. exact same oh, stuff. Hell like, no. Nah. And I didn't know how to feel about it because it was like my because I get a lot of shit because I will make videos and I'll be like like I want fans or I want supporters but I don't want clones and people will be like you're full of yourself like no one wants to be like you but like it'll be yeah. a girl that like nah, got everything exactly like me and I'm like what the fuck do you mean so like I'll feel like oh my god like you're being a bitch like don't say that to, like she just looks up to you but like that I was like I don't know what to do like you literally are a spitting image like and she's like in me. your crib yeah and she got the tattoos right before it and so I sat down and did her lashes and my boyfriend was there and I texted him I was like please come in here and like he runs in the room and I was like sm he brought in a blunt <laughs> Because, like, at the time, I didn't know how to, like, lash in my house. So I was yeah. smoking in the crib. And so he came in there, and he, like, took a picture of her and was, like, recording her. And I was just, like, talking to her. Like, she didn't know just he was in there. Sure. And he was like, oh, my God, like, get her the fuck out of here. And, like, she asked to use the bathroom. I was like, Jay, you know she did not have to use the bathroom. Like, she just wanted to take a video or, like, yeah. picture in the bathroom. Like, she's at the crib. And then she left. And then the next morning, I woke up. And, like, she's on my For You page. And I was like, what the hell? Is this me? Like, I thought I posted a video, like, <coughs> draft or something. Because there's just, like, a video of her tattoos and stuff. And I sent it to my mom i was like who do you think this is she was like cute video mel i was like mom this is not me like this is her yeah. and like i literally commented on the video i was like hey girl like you literally came um to get your lashes done yesterday like you know those aren't like your tattoos like you know like your inspiration is from me like please just say that at least yeah. and then like her friend commented and was like you're so full of yourself and was like i can't believe people like you get a platform and was like she wouldn't even take that from you i was like bitch like who is she trying to take yeah. it from then like who's her inspiration because like i don't know who the fuck she's looking up to then yeah. <laughs> and like that's when i was like she's trying to like <laughs> be nice about it and stuff but i like didn't know what to say from that's there wild. no that's weird i don't care what the fuck <laughs> That's weird. Somebody Stop come dressed that just shit. like same outfit you had on yesterday, same tattoo. Well, same and it's tattoo. different, like because <laughs> right the I'm like, hey, you gotta get the fuck out. <laughs> you gotta go, bro. Who's there? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that is that, that is, is wild. So Money canceled. Yeah, yeah. facts. Nope. So is your boyfriend like? What do you guys do on like a regular basis? Because. I, you guys make a lot of TikToks, so is it like you guys we get just, up? How do you? What's your what's your schedule? Is it like, oh, I got these TikToks I want to do today, or is it kind of just like you scroll and you're like, oh, that's cool, I'm gonna do that real quick. I feel like because I do like promos with this one company, so if I see a girl do, I'm like, oh shit, I should go do that because I'm gonna get yeah. money for it anyway. So I like get up and do it, but like I get up very early, or like sometimes I won't sleep at all, so I'll just get up at like 4 a.m. normally and I'll just go to the gym. That's I'm like, what do I gotta do? <laughs> I'm like, what do I got to do? And I like try to like, I don't know, get productive or try to do something from there. But if I can't, I normally just like literally will smoke all day and just see what I can do, what I can get money from. I'm like, oh, lash appointments, do that. And I just smoke Is it and hard get money. To, are you the type that can smoke and still get stuff oh, done? Yes. Or are you kind of like slump? She's yes. Slump. Do you feel like, do you feel like smoking makes you slow? Or, no. or does it like <clears throat> I feel like smoking makes you slow if like that's your mindset like if you just think like oh I can't do shit when I smoke like mm -hmm. yes you can I feel you because I've been out and about and I've been able to smoke and but I do think you can get paranoid from it and like yeah, really right. not do you that's feel like your stuff. awareness level is at the all time high it should be at if you're smoking mm -hmm. do you read I feel like yes and stuff no. are you like a are you a um, how you say like are you into like spiritual so like, like, okay yeah, yeah. I see you have 777 on your necklace okay tell me what, what do you what is that about well, that's just, like, lucky and stuff, and, like, I, I first had, like, 555, five, five, so that's, like, change, and, mm -hmm. like, I feel like once it breaks, like, that means, like, move on and get a new number, and, mm -hmm. like, I had 888 before that, and that, like, helped me get my apartment I believed in and, like, mm -hmm. get me stable and stuff like that, and 555 five, five was, like, the change, and my boyfriend and I, like, went through some stuff, and then 77's, seven, like, lucky, like, new opportunities, like, new cars. Like, rewards like for your efforts. Mm -hmm. type. Yeah. Even though bad shit still happens, like, I'm gonna get rewarded in the end. Yeah, and I feel like I'm a big, I'm actually a big believer in, like, angel numbers. I, every single day, man, I hope I don't jinx myself, man. I hope that's some wood right there. <laughs> it's but definitely not wood. Every <laughs> single day, there's wood somewhere, man. But look, look <laughs> I see 11 11. Drywall. Right, I see eleven eleven, and I'm I'm that type of person to where I see I call it out to everybody. I'll be like, it's eleven eleven. Hey, I feel like you <laughs> like, should only say it to people wish. like care. Yeah, I, and I'm somebody that I see when I see signs like that. Like I'm like, I truly believe in stuff like that, the spiritual side when it comes down to that. 
So it's like to hear your, you know, like you had five five five, you had eight eight eight. Now you have seven seven seven. What's your next number? What are you gonna get if I'd something happens to your seven seven seven? I'd probably do two 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 just because of everything that's happening. I'd want to be like looked out for like as I go through. Because once you shit. run out, once you get to the double digits, you can't do ten ten ten. <laughs> <laughs> and you, 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 um, you know, like. One 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 two 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 three 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 four. I feel like the ones you that are like definitions? important to me, but like I will look them up in the moment. Because I feel like you just called out five five what five 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 was what eight 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 was what seven. Yeah, because those are like the most important ones to me. Uh, that's. But yeah. I see them the most. So I def- Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm not gonna talk about that. So go ahead. Um. Yeah, I, I've been seeing some numbers lately too. Like, <laughs> no, I get ass. Like, <laughs> and he looked creeped out. <laughs> I've been seeing some no, I get ass. Feel like some shit, some, shit, some, shit, some shit's coming. I definitely feel it's like a blessing, man. Some no, shit. definitely no negativity. What do you feel like? Like, what is your sauce on TikTok? Like, how do you feel like you blew up? Like, what do you what do you think you did differently than everybody else? I just feel like. I because I blew up because I didn't really put like effort into my stuff honestly because I feel like a lot of I see a lot of stuff and it's like oh they set that up they did this like she practiced her lines like seven times before she posted that like I just feel like people adapted to me and liked what I posted because I was always real and I cuss I don't have good vocabulary like I just don't give a fuck and I tell them that and like I got bullied and I didn't have very good confidence I still don't have good confidence and like like when I went into it, I always just wanted to make girls feel good, and that was right. just so just kind of be relatable to like the average person. Mm-hmm. That's dope. I feel that. That's lit. Oh, um, let me let me ask you this: When I was in college, uh, one thing that I noticed a lot was when girls had relationships. Right, they would be in a relationship with a man. Right, it would be some of their best friends or some of their friends that would try to get with their man behind their back. Have you ever had a situation where you've had a friend try to get with your man, or have you? Yeah, have you had a situation that that happened with the man you're with right now, or before? Before, yes, but now, no. I just always be like worried, just because like I feel like social media friends you can never trust because it's like. I don't know. Everyone knows everyone like some way, like they have some type of history before that you don't know about. Or they just look you up. And... Yes, like they know about you beforehand or something. So and like, why do you know. think friends friends are so why do you think friends are so attracted to I, I would say something that you once had or something that you have right now? Why do you think, like, there's so many people on this earth. Why not just go find somebody else? Why are you looking at the person that I call mine? No, you can't get it. I think it's because, like, they see how you're treated and, like, how you glow in the second. But, like, they also don't see, like, the downs or, like, what you go through. And, like, most of the time they most of the time they are single and stuff like that. So they just crave it so much. But I think it's no excuse and it's just weird. That's crazy. Is there anybody specific? An envy. Like, they yeah. want your spot. They want to feel like you in the moment is what the main That's why is. sometimes it's like you got to be you gotta be careful on who you share things with. Like, even the good things that, that uh, uh, your significant other does or the good thing that your business does. Like, think of it like this. Oh, this promo, they paid me out this or they did this. You tell another influencer that. What do you think that influencer is going to go do? They're going to go hit that brand up because they know, okay, well, you know, they paying that and they're your friend or whatever it is. But it's like not even that situation. But I feel like everyone, is, you just got to be careful on. I feel like that you. is even weird because like my boyfriend had to deal with that at times. I'm like, you just did that brand. Like, why does he already have that shit? Like, mm-hmm. that was yours. Like, you didn't even have it for like a few days. Like, yeah. I feel like just wait for the brand to come to you because it feels <clears> like you're still like. You still wanted that shit, but, like, so bad that you couldn't even wait. Like, I just feel like it's weird to, like, reach out for mm. that, I guess. Oh, random question. What is a, what's a song that you feel like people wouldn't expect you to like or listen to? <laughs> people don't know that you, like, fuck with tough. Like, is there any song, like, specific? Because I know some people, they might think, like, oh, you like hip-hop or Spanish. But is there I anything, don't know. like... I like, feel like I just like a lot of juice and like, like juice world? world. Yeah. Oh word. But I like hard shit too. Like I will always tell my boyfriend to play like rock like, the hard? hardest shit he has. Like some young game. boy. Or... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like rock and roll type shit. No. No. no like no, no. like young boy ESCG. Yeah. Do you and your boyfriend when you guys are in the car? Do you you listen to the same type of music or is yes. it like you put on something? And... 
Well, sometimes, like, I'll play hard shit, and he'll be mad that, like, I know it. You know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but it's, yeah, like, fun that we that do from? it together, yeah. And we right. smoke, but, yeah. So do you, and you guys smoke, you guys smoke on a regular, like, Oh, yeah, like, night, all day. And I, day sometimes day. people be like, girl, like, we don't need to roll up. I'm like, roll up right now. Like, yeah. I need to smoke. So how many blunts do you guys, do you think you guys smoke a day? I feel like on an average day, it's, like, 13. Is like God damn! <laughs> <laughs> Holy! F- hey, you're smoking what? Like Swishers or like Dutches? But I always like backwards at the end of. the We night. smoking woods to the face. What the <laughs> fuck no. you talking about? <laughs> so, so thirteen Dutches in a wood at night, or twelve Dutches in a wood at night? Either one, like, or sometimes like woods, he'll he'll woods roll a wood in the morning or something like that. What See, the I can't fuck? even. I wake 13. up, I smoke. I'm going right back to sleep. Wait. And like in the morning, I like to smoke like two, like right off the bat, like right as I wake up, I brush my teeth, like I go sit on the counter and roll a blunt. Okay. Gosh. Wow. So, if, y'all crib smell like weed? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 13, 13 rolls a day. It's like That's like we have two boxes in the house always because like going to the smoke shop is just like too much. But let me ask you this: how how much is that? I don't know. Wise. It's you, a lot. Do you, so how many do you times still, do you, you pick still up pay a for week? weed? I don't know. Like right before I left, like the plug, he put like an ounce under the doormat so you because still I still up needed off the it. Plug? Yes, because not going to the dispensary. That's more, but like I'll go to the dispo like right. here and there. But the plug's like nice because it's like a bigger bag and like yeah, depending so who on who it plug? is. No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna get fucking social security numbers and shit. That's crazy. That's like whiskey. I've never. I'm gonna be completely honest. Like I've never heard of someone smoking thirteen. No, like in my boyfriend, like and when we meet his friends and stuff, they're like, "Oh my god, like I can't believe your girlfriend smokes like that." Or like he always is like, "I'm so glad you smoke more than the boys or stuff like." that I asked her right when she put up, I smelled a little something. She said, "Yeah, I rolled up." I said, "Oh, where you smoke?" She said, "Yeah, I smoke too." God, how are you alive? (laughs) So, so you smoke more than him. Yeah. So he so he can't keep up with you sometimes. Well, he can, but like sometimes he don't want to. Does like, he have the same type of mentality that you do when he gets hot? Well, sometimes he'll be like, lazy? "Mel, like we're slow." I'm like, "I'm not slow. Like I just want to smoke." Like, <laughs> I'm I, good. Yeah, like I just want to smoke. Do you feel oh. like y'all vibe changes when you like between? Because okay, so me and my girl, so she don't smoke, right? She, she don't smoke at all, and she used to smoke heavy, right? And I used to smoke. Well, she didn't use to smoke heavy. She used to smoke like on the regular, like go out or whatever, smoke one a weekend. But I used to smoke like five, six backwards to the face at night. Nick knows. Cause oh, God. He's seen it. And, <laughs> no, first um, off, Jess's backwards were little fucking skinny ass <laughs> finger looking <laughs> motherfucking not, not just that. He would justice. roll some crooked ass backwards. That shit would be. And Jess's, when he smokes, man, he's out of there. Like. Yeah, he, he can't function. Two, he's done, bro. And he'll just keep smoking until he passes out. <laughs> so me and my girl, we had smoked. The last time we smoked, why we stopped smoking together was because the last time we smoked, uh, she has problems like with sleeping. Like she used to take like sleep medication and stuff. It's funny, but it's like not. It's funny to Wait, me. Why are you laughing? <laughs> because like not like sleeping. Like she can't go to sleep, mm-hmm. but she wakes up like in the middle of the night and be tweaking, bro. Like I be like, yo, what the <laughs> like Devon tweaking. Okay, like last night we're falling asleep. Like you know when you're about to hit that like that. Oh, this shit just happened. Now this, oh, so you this smoked happens last regularly. Night. Oh, like okay. I'm talking about like a real problem, and she <laughs> she'll tell she'll tell you about it, but um. She stopped taking sleep medication because it was throwing her moods off. Like, it would make her, like, hella, like, just, like, anxious and stuff like that. But, uh, one, so, like, three nights ago, I'll give you an example. Three nights ago, I'm sleeping and she's, like, you know what I'm saying? I was, I was, a, uh, I was a little, little, uh, how you say it? I mean, the girl cuddling you. Little spoon. Little spoon. <laughs> I, was little, I was little spoon this night. I usually, I'm big spoon, but I was little spoon. I don't <laughs> believe that. <laughs> no, I was little spoon. So my back turned to her and she's like on me or whatever. Her hand is like on my shoulder. And all of a sudden she like 15 minutes into us sleeping. I'm like right there, like, like right about to deep sleep. And she just like. Like grab like my my shoulder like <laughs> and I'm like and she just like look up and I'm like yo what the fuck like what's going Wait, on she made that noise she was like ah and I was like ah what like <laughs> oh, what? and she's like oh nothing 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 and I'm like nah you gotta tell me you can't just go back to sleep and she be trying to do that she'll wake up and just be like oh shit what the fuck what's that what's that what's that and I'll be like she's probably and drunk. then I'll tell her in the morning and she'll be like what are you talking about I didn't I'll be it's like probably sleep paralysis yo. 
Nah. nah. Have, you, have you ever experienced sleep paralysis? Bro, I used to. I used to get that shit. I, this sounds bad, but I used to get that shit every single week. Bro. That is the scariest shit in my life that has uh, ever. You know. Happened. You know when that shit happens. So basically, when you get into sleep paralysis, um, so your eyes are open, your body cannot move. So this used to happen to me every single week. But then you start to hear things, and you feel and like someone's behind to, you. You start to see <laughs> things, and then you can't move. Right, so you and you so don't you, know you're in sleep paralysis. No, no, you know. No, you I, know. So now you're like awake but asleep. Oh, then yeah. I'd be like, I'm just too. No, so, no, stuck. exactly. So, so, so now I'm like, fuck. I'm, damn, I'm like, I'm in sleep paralysis right now. Before, bro, I used to be scared. I'm like, oh my god, what the fuck is happening? Yeah. But now I'm just like, man, wake the fuck up. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's not your <laughs> No, you can't move, bro. Oh, where? Right. So it's you're like, literally like this, like. <laughs> So it's bad. It's crazy, bro. I'm weak. But yeah, back to the story. Why we stopped smoking <laughs> is because one night we were smoking and uh, we just like looking at each other. We were in Jamaica, actually. <laughs> we were smoking and, and she like, sh we were watching. We started watching TikTok because we didn't have nothing to talk about. She was talking to me and I'm over here like forgetting everything she was saying. Like she would say like, damn. And I'd be like, what'd you say? And she'll say something again. I'd be like, bro, I don't know why I can't comprehend nothing you're saying. And we were watching TikTok and some like some like weird video came up of like somebody like getting hurt or something. And I started tweaking. I'm like, oh hell no. I started thinking like start getting paranoid on my <laughs> chest, start pumping and stuff. After that I was like, Yeah, we're not smoking together. So you guys don't get like weird together. Like you've never had a, a situation where you guys are like, Oh, your vibes off, like you're weird. No, he'll like he'll fuck with me though because I'm super paranoid. Like I feel like everyone's trying to like kill me or like oh. just hella weird. Like but sometimes I can like control like I'm just chill. But sometimes yeah. we'll be outside and he'll be like, Mel or like act like I like, try to scare you real yeah, quick. Yeah, so he'll be like, Did you lock that shit? Or like I'll be up when he's like at home and stuff, he'll call me like, Mel, did you lock the doors? Because I don't know, in our apartment complex it's like a townhome kinda and yeah. people will knock on the door sometimes, so I'm like That's crazy. It's just weird. That's wild. Yeah, smoking you're honestly you're a strong person for smoke thirteen plus. <laughs> what about have you have you yeah. been through days where you have not smoked? Yeah, like I'll try to smoke in the morning or like i'll try to like not smoke in the morning and smoke in the afternoon and i'll be faded but like i'll try to get that high all day long and i'll just so end don't. up smoking like nine blunts and i'm like what the fuck no, no no i'm saying like have you been through a day where you ain't smoked not one time no <laughs> well like back hold on, hold on. then but like, when was no. the last time where you ain't smoked not just one time damn Jeez. Cause I like really crave weed. Like if I don't have, <laughs> like if I have like a quarter left, I'm already like texting the plug. Like I need an ounce. Okay, so now okay, a quarter will last me two weeks. <laughs> Do you feel like people could get addicted to weed? Yes, I feel so, like I'm addicted to well, it. She says she craves. Okay, <laughs> she craves Do you feel? Do you feel like addiction to marijuana or to weed is is bad? I feel like yes and no, but okay. I can't say it's bad because I do it. So I can't say I'm, I'm saying, you know, I, but what I'm, I'm, I'm going for is because people say, I've heard so many people say, like, bro, you know what, bro, I'll smoke, but I still work, bro. You know what I'm saying? And you say that, but I see it. Like, yo, you got all these accounts. I see, I hate when people say, bro, I'll be working. And then when they smoke, they're, yeah. they're passed out. You know what I'm saying? Like, I see She's people, right now, huh? you know, but I feel like sometimes people be like, uh, sometimes people have. Uh, an addiction to weed and they know it but they think that it doesn't do anything to them when it does and you know what's crazy though is like one of uh my friend's family members i was just around him he's going to school like he's almost gonna have his doctorate in neuroscience and shit like that and like uh i was asking him what's is there any like negative side effects to like marijuana and he was like, no, what's crazy is that it actually, like, improves, like, the brain. And there's a lot of, like, cool things that they've never, like, really talked about. I feel like and it opens your mind more. And, like, when I was younger, like, I would start to, like, pay attention to, like, how each blunt, like, would hit me. Or, like, when I'm, like, two blunts in, like, how does the world look? Or, like, things look, like, a little bit, so like, that's slower. How you, that's your trick to blowing up on TikTok, being high as shit. No, literally, like, I used to be, like, oh, high shit. as fuck <laughs> on TikTok, and I would blow up, they'd be like, this girl, like, doesn't even know what she's doing or That's something. That's probably why you're going to have know. Justice smoking, like, 20 Nah, I know, yeah, like, you're going to be like, yo, we're going to be like, bro, why are you smoking so much? 
<laughs> Try to get verified on TikTok. <laughs> I didn't realize that sometimes I had, you know, when I, I used to be a pothead. Get creative. Right? I get creative as fuck, though. Mm-hmm. I get creative as fuck. But but low key, when you wake up, though, tell me it don't be like. What the no, fuck? it feels like you're hungover, low key. Like, it feels like you don't. It be. Don't sometimes I, I used to, like, write some shit in my notes and be like, because I know I'm going to forget this in the morning. So I write the notes and then I read it in the morning. I'm like, what the you know? fuck was I thinking about? And I was like, but it sounded so good when I was high. <laughs> So like I do, I do feel that the creativity is is crazy. Now if you're high all the time, and you just act on what you're thinking, I can see that shit like blowing up because you're probably just high and you just act on whatever you're thinking. That's why mm-hmm. she like I'm only. That's why she said most p- people be like putting effort into her TikToks. She probably be doing a TikTok and she be like, "Y'all don't care to do another one. I'm high." <laughs> Nobody, okay, we didn't ask you this question. How many TikToks do you think you rec- record averagely? What the do you have a sauce a too, like on a day, like on a daily. You only post like three. A day I just or? post like when I want to post, like if because like I have BPD, so like my emotions can be like up and down. So if I have like the energy, and I like in manic, you might get like ten videos on every count, and everyone's like, oh my god. But like I feel like me kind of being inconsistent is what kind of like makes you stay because you're like, when is she gonna post? Like I want to see Facts. what she's doing. Like I want to know it. Was like, high, yeah. Do you feel like? TikTok has kind of you say you got BPD so do you feel like TikTok has kind of helped you cope with that oh no I no? feel like if anything it would like mess with your emotions more because you just sit on your phone and you read everything that everyone's saying Facts. you start are you, you don't know type, it's true are you the type my girl should be looking at like TikToks and there'll be the relationships. oh stuff. yes I'll send Jaden them I'm yeah. like what are you doing yeah. I'm like what does this mean He's that's like, what my girl be doing I'll be like bro stop watching TikTok like I'm, since since you are you know, you blew up on TikTok and stuff like that. Do you have a lot of like older people in your in, in your DMs, or like, do you have like a lot of dudes that know that you're in a relationship still try to get at you? Yes, and even like when we first got into a relationship, like at the time, his friends or like older people that he would do like content houses with, I'd be like, oh, don't you know him? Or like just stuff like that. Or even and, like rappers, like they don't care. Do you, yeah. What's What's the most famous rapper that's DM'd you? Mm. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna say. On the spot. No, you got to. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, name 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 a rapper that we might know. One of like a, a known. She's like, don't do that. <laughs> name a rapper that we might know. Obviously, you got boyfriends, so it don't matter. Cause like um. that you that has hit you up, and you're like, oh shit. Meek Mill, man, he hit up everybody. I just feel like <laughs> she didn't even know this stuff. I don't know. Basketball, woo. yeah, like basketball and like For sure. I feel like when it was people when like um the like music was on my playlist and they talked to me, I'd be like, and that's crazy. Like I'm singing your song. Yeah, right and they don't even care that like you're 19. No, and the, like, like a lot of times like they'll just be like, Mel, like you're just a cool ass vibe. Like you're cool. To is talk that to. is that is that weird to you? Well. You have a boyfriend, so it's kind of hard. Well, to like, sometimes that, I'll try to tell them, like, like a lot of times people, like, they're just, like, hitting you up because they, like, want you. But, like, I have to show them, too, like, no, like, they might just be, like, they actually oh, think you're I'm that, cool as fuck. Oh, you're that type. You're the type to be, like, if somebody, so if, so if somebody hits you up, are you the type to be, like, nah, he not trying to get at me? I like, feel like because I know, like, how it is for real. Like, so, I'll so get you, say, I feel like, is that, like, weird as fuck, like? So That's will you? Weird. So will you low key like even though you got a boyfriend, will you entertain like? No. So you, I'll show Jay and like depending on his reaction is like how I will. Have you ever even like? I, so if he said like yo like yeah. That's cool. You're gonna talk. Well, like, like one time, like if I use a song on TikTok and like the rapper like comments or something, I'm like Jay, that's cool. Like I don't give a fuck what you say. Like I don't oh, like so the just comment. Like, like or like or... if he says something or like. But if they DM me, I'm like, Not no, because you're, like, trying to, like, yeah. you're really right. trying to hit me Makes up. sense. I was about to say, yeah, nah. I what about, okay, you in a relationship, how how do you feel, or other way around, too, so it could be about your boyfriend as well, how do you feel about um, your your man having a girl best friend? Hell no. <laughs> Why? Because you probably fucked her or What something. if he didn't? She probably wants to. What if she's in a relationship? That don't matter. <laughs> because y'all was best friends to begin with. I just feel like it's weird. What if they was just mad close? Like, you know, they was just mad close. They've been through a lot of shit, you know? Like, and then, boom, you got into, or he got into a relationship. She respects everything. And then okay, she so low-key becomes your friend as well. 
No. no. So question, you I gonna, feel like we couldn't really let... be friends because like you already know so much about him. Like I'm learning about him from you. Like that's weird. Say you're in a relationship, you gonna let your girl have a, a guy best friend? Yeah, if he's gay. Exactly. You didn't say no. that to me though. <laughs> I'm saying like I mean, I okay. Like, I I I have a girl best friend. She. Why you make that? Well, face? like you're not in relationships. So but I can't. but I'm saying I have a girl best friend and she's married to a NBA player, right? And I went to their wedding and, you know, boom, I'm cool with him too. And if I get into a relationship, I'm not dropping her. That's my that's my that's my best nah, friend. I'm gonna be honest, bro, like I feel like if you have that mindset, no girl's gonna But have but you. think about it. You would you would switch up on your best friend just because you're in a relationship? Hell yeah. Yeah. You got because to. are you gonna spend your life with her like I'm gonna be honest. Somebody that's hey, been there with I'm gonna be honest. The I'm gonna be honest. I'm surprised but he even like. It's cool with that. It. Like, it's you know, cool at the wedding, at the wedding, he pulled me to the side, <clears throat> and he was just like, "She only follows like 28 people on Instagram." And, and you're one the of them. Only, I'm, <laughs> I'm the only dude. And oh. he pulled me to the side, and mm-hmm. he was like, "Look, bro," he's like, "I don't let nobody, no, no guy get close to to you know my shorty." And he was like, "But I trust you." Now see, like, now listen, now listen to this. But I'm not saying time? you you don't have. I know you don't have any like ill intention. Like, uh, oh, yeah. nah, now nah, I'm close to her. Like, I know that might actually like really be your best friend. Yeah. But now in another guy's mindset, that might be a best friend or whatever. Uh, that's definitely not their mindset. So mm-hmm. you know, once he pulls, say the guy or the dude that just got married pulls her best friend to the side just like he did you and he tells the other guy yo i know she don't like she, you're the only guy she follows and like usually i wouldn't fuck with this shit but like i trust you that's like that guy's like switch like oh i'm in i'm in his pocket now but i've been to so before the wedding i've been to his birthday i've i've created a relation i've been on the yachts with him you know i've, yeah, I've created cool. a relation he's he's mad cool and it's just like I feel like, bro. Like, if you feel genuine energy from somebody that you know their intentions aren't ill to try to switch up or try to do certain things, bro. Like, I this best friend that I'm talking about, bro. We've been through some shit together, like some real life shit, and like you know some shit, man. <laughs> and you know, I I just can't. I don't know, bro. I feel like they're so if she were to cut, like if she were like yo, like respectfully, I gotta. I gotta cut you off because my boyfriend said, or "Is that going?" If she said that, if she said that, I would, I would low key be like, you know what, like I'll be cool with it. But at the end of the day, that's not what happened. Yeah. And what happened was she invited <laughs> me to a spot where both of them were at, and I built a relationship with him because I'm not no fucking weirdo, and I can create relationships. So do you talk with to him on the side also? Like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I what can talk you, to him. I'll like, text him. Now in your situation, like, how are you there for her? Yeah. I mean, now it's not more of like, oh, like we're texting all the time. It's it's more of like we we used to you we used to talk about certain things and situations, but now it's just like, bro, she's married, she got her own life going on, she got a kid, everything like that. So, so you're so not she, hitting her like, hey, I'm going through this. Uh, so you think it's kind of drifted I, away from a best friend? If I ever got a situation with a with a girl. Like I would go to her for advice. That's and the only no person I would, would go to. Fuck with that. At yeah, all. I'm gonna be honest, bro. Like a girl is gonna like if I were to go to like <laughs> if I were to go to another girl, like for advice. <laughs> fuck no, nigga. Call the relationship done. Raylene's gonna be like, what the fuck? Any girl is gonna be like, you're weird as fuck. Your like That's relationship crazy. should just stay in between y'all and like your like. Well, she is your best friend in that Dude, case, but it should be like your bro. Do y'all feel case. like it's different? Is it different if your partner has a best friend that's the opposite gender but is gay? I feel like the gay thing now is so like on and off. Like you don't really know. I feel like, bro, gay. either way, because like they were straight at one point. <laughs> no, I'm not even saying. Like a lot of times they kiss the girls, anyways. <laughs> yeah. Yo, what if, <laughs> yo, yo, what if, what if there's a video, bro? What if there's a video, and and he kissing her on the cheek in the video, but he gay, yeah. 
Nice. It's just weird because it's like no, um, you not fucking with it. I'm not fucking. I'm just asking. My girl used to have. She said she she had. She was like hit me like a couple weeks ago. I was like I kind of miss like my old gay best friend. It was a dude, Mm -hmm. and I I have (laughs) talked to her before. She used to tell me like yeah like. He used to come, I didn't know he was gay, but he used to come over and he'll spend the night and like he would do my hair. Once I heard that, I was like, ah, ah, ah. Now listen, bro, <laughs> if they're, if they're like, if they're gay, but like they got a relationship with like your significant other, like, and it's a good relationship and you like feel like, okay, my significant other trusts this person, like, and sees her or him as a friend, like just as much as I do. I mean, that's a different conversation, but Nah, it's a limit to conversation. Raylene knows where I stand with that shit. You Hell just don't no. know like intentions for real. Yeah. Like you just don't know. Yeah. Facts. Well, I feel like this is a really good podcast. Last question, Mel. Yeah. Do you have like a favorite quote or something like that? Mm, everything that can, will be all right. Everything will be all right. Mm-hmm. So whenever no you way. go, whenever you go through <laughs> something, you just like everything will be all right. Everything's gonna yeah, be good. Yeah. Like no matter how hard it is, like. You'll come out no matter what. I feel like one of the and we're gonna end it off with this. I feel like uh, everything will be all right. I feel like time heals everything, you know. And people are in certain situations to where they act off emotions. When in reality, if you just live a little bit, time heals everything. Everything's gonna be all right. So I fuck with that. That's like Bob Marley said, "Everything's gonna be all right." <laughs> be the the thing. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming back to another episode. Thank you, man. Let's talk that talk. Let's get and it. And we out this thing. Yeah.